Mr. Polly, all the way from Midrand. Uh, Mr. Polly, I just wanted to find out from you. W what are your reasons here uh, for coming to the protest today? Uh, yeah. w why are you here specifically for the protest? Uh, specifically, I am here just to show the management that we are concerned about the status of the club. The, the club is not performing. We, we want to find out what could be the problem. We as the fans and supporters, we have been there following the club all these years. We have never suffered like we are suffering now. So we don't know whether to blame the window period that uh, the club didn't sign players. But if you check the same players, are the players last year, by this time they were on top of the league. So you find yourself, you, you ask yourself, could there be a, where in fact lies the problem? There's a new coach that came in. We cannot blame the coach per se and say maybe the players are not used to the, the methods of the coach because if you check the way Kaiser Chiefs lost a uh, few games, you, how do you blame the coach when the, the players are make silly mistakes? So our concern was just a mere, this was a, a peaceful protest where we want to shake the management and shake the team as well that they must remember that we as fans we as supporters we are there outside probably they have forgotten about us because of the COVID. you know players of Kaiser Chiefs we we feel if they don't see supporters they don't perform this is our general feeling so we were there to tell them that guys we are still out there looking but now we are suffering we can't take this pain anymore we we you see i have already lost the weight because of kaiser chips i don't want to see that again happening that was our concern just to save them a little bit mm. And then I want to also find out from you, since we've uh, attended the protest just now, well, what are some of the outcomes that you'd like to see uh, out of the club going on forward? Uh, yes, you see, w what we want to see from, from now, we want to see a change, how they play. Tomorrow they are playing an important game uh, with Zimba from Tanzania. We want to, you, you know, we, we don't say... Kaiser Chiefs must always win, but let the players show that they die for this team. Now the players that are playing now, you don't know where their concentration is. We are saying we as fans and supporters, we want to see a change from now onward. Even if the team, the team lose, let us see how they lost. We know you cannot always win each and every game. But the way they are losing nowadays, you ask yourself several questions. Are these guys, do they still want to play for this team or their mind is somewhere? These guys are getting a lot of money, but they don't show that. People are struggling outside. It's COVID time. People are getting the 350. Guys are earning 500,000. Guys are earning 700,000, but they are doing absolutely nothing. We cannot afford that. We as supporters and fans, we can't afford. There are other players that you see, they are trying. Other players are just any money, mahala. For, for instance, I don't want to be personal. A player like Billiard is always injured. Since he came to Kaiser Chiefs, has never contributed anything, but is one of the highest paid players. Abo Kune, we think they are now tired. Abo Katsande, they have done their part. Let them give the youngsters a chance. Let the youngsters perform. We don't say change everybody, but there, is, uh, there are players when you assess, you get the stats. You would see that these players, they still want to play for KSC. But most of them, you can see these players, their mind is not there. So we want a fresh air. This is our concern, just to shake everybody out and, and let them know that we are out there. We are very much concerned as fans and supporters. That was our statement today. So we are expecting in 14 days time, we must hear the response. We are very much happy that the, the chairperson sent the, the whoever came and come and pick up Jessica, Kaiser, you name them, they were there. We are very happy because they show that at least they, they, they understand our plight, they understand our. So we are expecting next week in 14 days time to get the response. That was just our concern. All right, and then one final uh, question to you. What, what is your message to the fans? To, to the, oh, I can see they're very excited, fellow Kosi Nation as well. But what, what's your message to the fans 
to, 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 to the players that are going to also play tomorrow, because you mentioned tomorrow they're playing against Simba. It's a duo, uh, it's a duo die game. And w I want to find out from you, what is your message? What is your message to the fans, to the players, as well as to the, uh, to the club itself? Let me start with the fans. Guys, we, 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 we are suffering together. Let us be patient with the team. Let us be patient with the club. Let us be patient with the coach. We know the problem of the window period. We know the mentality. We know sometimes players take time to adhere with what the players want. From the fans, let us be patient. How long? I don't know. But Kosi Ali Wimoya. To the players out there, guys, tomorrow you are playing a crucial uh, game. Please, we are out there. We know that uh, uh, for our for in Africa you have been doing this is the only way you can make us proud so to the to the players please guys remember that we are there with you please we are expecting to see a change tomorrow please be there and all the best and good luck for the club itself we say guys we are know we are the cozy uh, all of us we are suffering together I believe that the pain that we as the fans are feeling you as also the management you are feeling but it, it is high time the season is ending we we are patient we are expecting we are uh, expecting a complete new change of the players the mentality from from the fans to the management until the chairperson itself, we want to see change. We want to see the happy course in the scene, starting from next season. For now, all the best. We are running for top eight. We are know we are left with three games. Guys, we are not compromising. We want the nine points. Kosi cannot end a season out of the brackets of top eight. That would be an embarrassment, at least for consolation. Let them be there on top eight. Furthermore, tomorrow, all the best and good luck. So we will be there, guys. Kosi Alpelimoya. You're watching Amakosi for live. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Amakosi for live. And give us a like on Facebook.